Okay, go that way because I'm recording. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good. Wait, what is it? It's afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, just trying to put this little mask on. How y'all doing? Let me know if you can hear me in the chats. Um, and also, as you know, we've been doing Get Cute While Quarantine for... Wow, has it been three months, two months? I don't even know. The months are going quick. Hey, Veronica, if you can hear me, perfect. Hey, Roxy, um, I see you, Teresa Powell, with your hand raised. So welcome to Get Cute While Quarantined with Felicia Leatherwood. And actually today I have a little treat because um, I know a lot of you look for tutorials. You, you want tutorials, you want to see how to do your hair. So we're going to mix a few things up. We're going to get into braids today because we are wearing braids. I mean, we really wearing braids. Like nobody wants to do their hair. So everybody's kind of either going short, 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 or they like getting into the braids. So today I'm going to show you how to refresh your braids, how to make them look nice. And we're going to talk about edges. I, I always talk about edges. I don't know uh if you're a lot of you are on with me for the past i don't know however many weeks i've been doing this but you notice i'm always talking about edges so let's talk about edges because i'm wanting to say, help y'all uh, save your edges can you put that together for me thank you okay so i have a lovely model today we've both been corona tested but we're going to wear masks anyway because that's what we do we wear masks and um and i've had to take all kinds of tests y'all I think I've given I did the nasal virus I did the the test for the nasal I did antibodies blood recently I did a spit one I'm like I don't want <laughs> I'm over it but I get it I get it but man so anyway today braids right I'm going to um, introduce you to a few hair accessories um, I have some oils too on the table because sometimes when you wear braids, a lot of us have the opportunity to really get into the scalp and start to cleanse it and put our oils on and we don't, we actually don't do anything after that. We, we kind of just get the braids and we barely tie them up. So we will we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, hi Yinka. So I'll take a couple of questions. Uh, before I get into the tutorial part of it. So we'll spend, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so asking, answering a question, ask, asking and answering questions. And then we'll get into our tutorial. Okay. Let's, let me get Instagram going. I almost forgot. Um, and then if the music's too loud, let me know. I always have music playing in the background. So I'm really, uh, really like it keeps me in a good space, a good mood. All right, hands are raised. Let's see these hands. Are they Q&A too? I see your hands raised. Oh, there we go. Y'all have questions? Yinka, you wanna come on and ask me a question? Thank you. Nice hands. Yinka, can you hear me? Hi. You wanna, um, do you want me to see, you want me to bring you on camera? Ooh, I look like struggle right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you can ask. You don't have to be on camera. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so first off, hello. Good afternoon. Hi. Um, I really appreciate this because I have been natural forever and I still don't have the hang of it. Mm -hmm. And currently I have crochet braids in my hair. Like I... Yeah, I have crochet braids and I just like crocheted some Marley hair into like a faux, a faux fro, essentially. And um, my, I feel like my scalp is screaming underneath this crochet, but I'm trying to keep it in because it took forever to put in. So I'm just curious if you have any like um, products or advice on how to kind of like soothe my scalp while in the style or if I should just take it out. Okay, so... So, hey everybody on Instagram. Okay, so you're talking about you have crochet in. How long have you had the crochet in now? It's been two weeks now. 
So two weeks of crochet and your scalp is itching or is it irritated? Does it feel inflamed? So it's itchy and I am bad at not scratching it. And when I scratch it, I feel like um, dandruff. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's doing all of that. So you probably should take that out. And I know you spent money and I'm sorry, you know, but what it sounds like is that there's an irritation happening. It could either be from the hair itself, because I don't know what hair you guys used. Um, it could be, could be a lot of reasons, uh, but definitely, because um, I don't want to put it on the hairstylist. I don't know what her techniques are, but definitely the hair is where I start. Um, a lot of times when you get hair, get the hair, depending on which brand you get, the hair needs to be pre-soaked. It needs to be cleaned. Um, some people have uh, inflammation and get inflammation in the scalp and the hair can definitely affect that and make it worse. Now, if you don't want to take it out just yet, what you can try to do is go through with a Q-tip and some tea tree oil and go through the scalp and try to get in there and cleanse it that way. Or you can do witch hazel and a Q-tip. Um, Okay. I would start a little bit with the tea tree oil and see what happens because that might make it worse, might make the itching worse. So with the Q-tip and the tea tree oil, just start in a little uh, area and wait about 10 minutes. Um, and then if you're fine and you feel like you're getting a little relief, go ahead and finish it, the rest of the scalp. Now, if the itching persists, but the scalp seems like it's getting a little bit calmer, um, then I would take a vitamin E capsule. I'm sorry, not the itching, the flakes, the flakes. Take a vitamin E capsule, poke a hole in it, and actually put the vitamin E directly on your scalp. Um, I don't recommend, if you're going to use a vitamin E oil, that it is mixed with anything. Just pure vitamin E is what you need, and that will help the flaking. Um, but yeah, you're probably going to end up taking it out. I felt like you were going to tell me that, but I was hoping you would not tell me that. I know. I'm sorry. I know. I know. It's come because you don't want to leave it in and then it's doing worse. And I've seen that. I've seen, I've had women come in after leaving a hairstyle in so long because they spent the money that when they go to take it out, it ripped out some hair or they had a clean patch or they had some type of bacteria or fungus on the scalp. So I don't want that to happen. I don't mean to scare you, but I just want you to know, like, just pay attention to, to after you try that remedy with the vitamin E and, or the tea tree. If nothing mm -hmm. happens, take it out. Okay, and just one quick question. For the tea tree oil, should I dilute it with something or should I just use it? Because I have some like an essential oil, but I'm not sure if that's too strong. I wouldn't do essential oil uh, with it. I would do just straight tea tree oil uh, on a Q-tip. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And I'm sorry that happened. And you know, it, it happens to the, to the best of us. <laughs> I appreciate your advice and our okay. notes. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Oh, look, if you need me, if you need to do a private consult, because you, the first thing you said was you've been struggling with your natural hair. And so if you feel like you need to book a private um, definitely send me that message. You can go to um, um, FeliciaLeatherwood.com FeliciaLeatherwood.com and you'll be able to book a private consult there and then I can just help you with more hairstyles. I will be doing that. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Uh, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Let's see. Where are you? You still there? Yeah. Hi, you want to come on camera or you want to stay like this? No, I'm too ugly. I want to stay like this. Don't say that. That's terrible. No. Okay, I'll leave you like this. What's going on? <laughs> um, I have a question for you. We talked about this a long time ago, but I need to know how to avoid it in the future. So the background story is that... Um, Years ago, I got Havana Twist thinking that it would be a protective style on my hair. 
-hmm. And the twists were somewhat heavy when I got them. And when I took them down, instead of protecting my hair, it basically took all of my hair out. Mm. And when I asked you about it, you said that more than likely my hair wasn't protected and the hair kind of, uh, uh, the synthetic hair acted like scissors and kind of damaged my hair, which made it break out. So with the quarantine, I want to put braids in because I feel like that's a good protective style. But how can I avoid having that happen if I add extensions to my hair? What's the best way to protect my hair? Okay. So what I usually um, tell you all about the braids or any protective style is that you want to apply a cream on the hair before applying the actual synthetic hair. And I actually use a cream for braiding. I never braid the hair just stripped of nothing. A cream helps me glide through the hair. It helps when you go to take out the braid uh, or out the synthetic hair, it helps the removal of it. It makes it easier um, because it slides off. And a cream is the barrier or the protector between the synthetic hair and your hair. So when you put the cream on and you move in a downward motion, you're closing up the cuticles, you're flattening the cuticles. So then when you go to apply the synthetic hair, it's not raised cuticles you're applying it to where it would cut into the cuticle. It's flat. So it's just an easier process. It's safer. And you will notice a difference when you take your hair down because your hair feels softer and detangled and more manageable. So get a cream. Uh, my favorite uh, creams out there for this would be the Melanin Hair Care Cream. is really great. Um, the Dew. Got that. Mm-hmm, and the Dew has one, but Bonita Afro Bomb, that's another great cream. Um, and then Alodia is the, the company you've heard me speak about recently. And they make a really nice whipped butter. Mm-hmm. That's good for braiding and twists. Okay. And how long is, what's the maximum length of time that I should leave my braids in my hair other, or with it, out it becoming unsafe? So the long, everybody's different. And I'm, I'm going to give you a few different time uh-huh. tables when, when it comes to leaving the braids in. For me, when I wear braids, I can only do three to four weeks before my scalp gets really irritated and tender and my edges start to trip out. Um, Other people can go up to six weeks. And I think six weeks is the topper, but I know some of you all go to eight weeks. Eight weeks is a little scary to me because you don't know what's going to happen when you take that down. And what I mean is the braids might look fine. You spend all this money. But when you go to take it down, there's this little kinky knot right at the base. And that's where all the oils uh, collected from your scalp, uh, anything in the air, debris, it collects right there. If you do not open up and detangle that little knot well, when you go to wash your hair, it's going to turn into a dreadlock, the hair locks, and then you won't be able to get it out. So eight weeks is pushing it, even with weaves. I know a lot of people wear their weaves for like two months. It's, it gets a little scary when you start getting into like that, that seven week, eight week, and the sweat. When you sweat, what happens is the uh, sweat that comes off your scalp is there's a lot of sodium in that. So it's salty. And of course, salt is going to dry your hair out. So if you have braids, twists, weaves and you've had them in for a long time and it's sweaty you may have a problem when you go to detangle it so you really shouldn't go i think past five to six weeks i don't think you should go past that and my biggest suggestion is that after two to three weeks you get a retouch on the edges and the reason why is because the edges are the most fragile part and if the braid slips and it's hanging on by a thread, it's going to snap those edges. So get a retouch. Mm-hmm. Make sure when you're getting your hair braided and Miss uh, Human Hair, we talked about this, Camilla, a few weeks ago. We did a whole thing on braids. Make sure that you hold it. So once she braids down just a little bit, you ask the stylist, the braider, if you can hold it. And uh, you hold it while they keep braiding down because while you're sitting there and they're yanking on your head, That's going to cause traction alopecia, all of that ripping. So I tell y'all, when you're on Instagram or looking at YouTube or whatever, and you're getting your hair braided, right when she gets on those edges, stop what you're doing, hold it. 
If you're getting cornrows and they're going back, hold it, press forward to release the tension. It's very important you do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. No problem. Good to hear your voice. And I hope, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for your next Havana Twist experience. Go to somebody else. I mean, you probably are, but yeah, try somebody else maybe. Oh yeah, no, I would never go back there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Carrie. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Uh, so let's see, y'all. Did I? Okay. So one of the um, other things I wanted to. Hmm. It's always it's very interesting when I can't get the person off. I don't know. Um, okay, so I have a question here on IG, uh, and I need to back up a little bit. Oh, good to know. So we do have some hairstylists here on IG that are saying um, that they actually do tell their clients to hold their edges, which is great. Definitely need that. Carrie, I'm going to try to get you off the screen because I don't know what people can see. But I don't know. Here we go. I got it. I think I got it. Sheena, I'm coming to you next. But let me add, uh, look at Instagram really quickly. Hey, Bekeela Riley. Um, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with Miss Hair and Humor, Miss Humor and Hair. She's super funny. She does incredible braids. She wrote a book. And if you go to her page on Instagram, you'll be able to check it out because she knows everything about braids. A lot of us hairstylists started as braiders in our homes and in our kitchens. And um, I know I started off as a braider and then California shut that down because they said they was gonna just braid everybody who braided and, and shut their stuff down. And I didn't want that to happen. So I went to cosmetology school to get licensed um, in order to really specifically do natural hair. So I did start off as a braider. Um, naturally high hair on Instagram. What if you wash your hair in braids? That's a great question, naturally high hair. So when it comes to washing your hair in braids, what I prefer to do is I like to put some shampoo mixed with a little bit of water in a sprout top bottle. Um, this is just an example. I'm not saying use the melanin oil because this oil is great. But if you find a bottle like this and you have braids and you need to cleanse your scalp, I will put shampoo in here and a little bit of water, like I would dilute the shampoo and then go through the partings of your braids, massage it a little bit, get the lather going and then rinse it out. Now, when it comes to conditioning your hair though with braids, that's tricky. Don't use a conditioner that is super thick because it's gonna sit inside the base of the braid. So I like to use a liquid leave-in conditioner when it comes to the braids. And I'll put a little oil inside um, just so that the cream's not sitting and gunking up inside at the base of your hair. And so that's my tip on that. Um, I noticed a lot of times when we would go on vacation, let's say to Jamaica, the Caribbean, it's humid. So if your hair gets wet, it's so hard to dry it. And then it would end up like having this really funky mildewy smell. This happens with dreadlocks as well. And the best thing to do in that case is in the hotel room, they usually have a hair dryer. Try to dry as much as you can, especially towards the base so you don't end up with that mildew uh, smell that sets in the hair. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I don't know, but we're going to keep going. That's a great question, though. Naturally high hair. I love it. Really good question. Uh, hmm. Instagram has the strangest people pop up. So we're going to ignore those people because they're weird. Sheena, you ready? I'm going to bring you on to talk. And oh, Dr. Carey's daily spray is amazing. You're right. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, Sheena, how are you? I'm good. And yourself? Good, good, good. Do you want to come on camera or you just want to stay here? Camera's fine. Okay, let me work that out. Give me one second. 
think I've fucking gotten the hang of this camera thing. Okay. You can start your camera now. Okay, wait, well, now I gotta figure out how to do that. Hold on, right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Do yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Who's that? Is your sister? Sister. Mm -hmm. Hi, sister. How you doing? Good. Uh, so our question is about edges. What do you recommend to, to regrow edges? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. Okay. So there's a few things. If you want to just stay in the whole tap mode, which is like all organic, natural, you don't want, you know, anything too crazy, black Jamaican casserole all, all day long. You can use it once a day, but I would recommend if you're going to do black Jamaican casserole because it's super thick and very syrupy that you uh, use just a little bit. So you put it at the palm of your hand, your, your, in your palm of your hand, and you take the balls of your finger and get it there and massage it in. Because if you pour it directly on, so much comes out and your whole house ends up having Jamaican casserole everywhere which happened to me recently because <laughs> I'm trying to grow my hair out. Um, but that is if you just want to, you know, stay organic. I, for one, feel like if you want to go a little bit faster with growing your edges, I'm finding that this edge entity, it's a follicle stimulant, is pretty good. And I found this company on Instagram. It's called Edge Entity, and it's edgeentity.com. I don't know if you can read it. It might even come out backwards. Can you all see that? Okay, I see it. Yeah, yeah, edge entity follicle stimulant. Uh huh. And it's a cream. Let me show the Instagram folks. It's a cream. Can't get there. <laughs> and the cream is good because you can actually massage it in and it disappears into the follicle. Sometimes when you use oil or serum, it's just sitting there, it's really oily. And then you go outside and the sun hits you and you just look like you're sweating on your edges. So I like that it's a cream because I can massage it in and it doesn't leave like residue or anything like that. And I've actually used it on top of, you know how you like to use like edge controls? Mm -hmm. So I would like use the edge control and then I'll use a little bit of this. But I'm not recommending you do that. I tested it and I didn't have a problem. Okay. But I cannot say that you won't. I'm just okay. saying I've done it, and you just got to test just a little bit before okay. you far. Yeah. And you use that once a day as well? Yes, once a day. And anything that I recommend to y'all, please definitely read the directions, only because it makes you remember it a little bit better than me saying it, so okay. you retain it better. But, yes, this right here is good. Another good one, and this is more of a uh, – it's kind of like a moisturant. This is the Groganics. I've spoken about this before and it's called On The Drop, wait, On The Spot Scout Drops. And I like this one because when you get braids sometimes, um, the pulling, you'll get these little white bumps every now and then. Not everybody, but some people have gotten that. And that's when that, that uh, follicle is irritated and actually the hair is about to come out. So it'll like act weird. Sometimes people get ingrown hairs too. And this stuff is great for that. So okay. it really does, uh-huh. It really does help a lot. Um, I've seen women that had clean little stress ball spots use this for about three months, four months, and the hair came back. So this is it. Um, and anything you do, once again, I'll keep saying this probably all day is that you must do it for three months to six months before you really see results. There's no gene in a bottle effect. So hang in there. Got it. Thank you. Was there any other question? That was it? That was it. Okay. Well, that was easy. All right. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm going to put you guys back. And... There, I did it today. Hmm. All right, uh, JR, is edge entity good for stimulating an entire head for growth? I don't know about that. I've only used it on edges, but I know if you go to their page, they have other products there that can help you for your entire scalp. Um, but yeah, this one, I've only done edges, but it's follicle stimulant, so 
maybe maybe let's see you know what i started doing you all i started looking at reviews of things uh just to see everybody's experience because it's so different and the reviews really helped me so check out some of these things that i talk about look into them don't just take my word for it actually investigate for yourself look at the reviews and see if it's something that you would even like maybe you already have a product at home that's similar and you're like you know what let me use this up before i go buy this and that's fine too so check out the reviews check out some of the ingredients see if it resonates with you um so Haley on ig wants to see the follicle the ser serum or the stem okay the serum groganics there you go on the spot scalp drops and actually it looks like this it's almost like a gel kind of thick so i wouldn't just put it directly on my scalp i always like to put stuff in the palm of my hand that way i can control how much i put on the scalp and the hair okay let's see brenda what is good for a hot oil treatment to stimulate growth you mentioned black castor oil. Mm -hmm. Is that the one to go for? Does it need to be heated before applying? Okay, so a good hot, a hot oil treatment. I actually like the melanin oil. This right here. This one is really good. And I've taken a little bit out and I'll put it in like, I don't know, like a little uh, uh, bottle, but I set that in a uh, in hot water. Like I'll boil hot water in a pot and then I'll set um, this the oil actually in a little uh, cup a little glass cup and set that inside the water not on the stove off the stove and I get it heated up and then I apply it to the scalp so I like this one and the reason why is because you see how fluid it moves sometimes you don't want stuff that's too heavy on the hair but I love how this moves it's light and it still penetrates so this is the one that I recommend hey goddess to me go um let's get over here i'm multitasking y'all think i'm doing all right <laughs> okay veronica hi you there still yes i am do you want to come on camera or you want to stay right here no i'd like to come on camera please okay let's see i'm gonna promote you and then Um, you should be able to start your camera right now. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I, I, I'm not, I don't do braids, but I do have my hair in a natural. Mm -hmm. And I just washed it this morning. And I don't know if you can see um, that it shrinks yes. after washing and the conditioner. Yes. And then I don't know if you can see. Up in here, I'm a little balding mm -hmm. in this yeah. area right here. Let me move my hand. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, I can see it. Okay. So, one, I don't know what my hair type is. I have no clue what it is. Um, and I need a product for hair loss. I don't know if that's hair loss or what. I know that when I wash my hair, um, I get clumps, long strands of hair that comes out. Really? I mean, the sink is really, I mean, the sink is full of hair. I've been taking uh, the Nature Bounty uh, hair, skin, and nails yes. vitamins, and I see it's gotten a lot better. Okay. So I don't have as much hair as I used to have. So before um, washing, I don't know if you can see that. Wait, can you that's hold what's, up? That's what's in the sink. That's in the sink? Hold up. That's in the sink. After washing, oh yeah, that's that's, that's, a, lot. that's a lot of hair. How, how often are you shampooing your hair now? I um, I only do it once a month because I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not putting in a lot of product. Okay. In my hair because I'm not, I'm you know I'm sheltered inside. So and so what I usually do if I'm not going out, then I'll braid my hair. I do one up at the top, two on the side, and one in the back, and that's how it will stay all week. Mm -hmm. If I'm going out, then when I come back and I know I'm going out the next day, then I may pull it back into a ponytail and go to bed that way. Okay. So I wonder, I think there's a combination of things. Let me ask you one other question. Are you on any medication at all? I am. 
Is it um, high blood pressure, thyroid, any of those things? Okay, I'm on high blood, I'm on blood pressure medication, cholesterol med medication. Um, I'm on a medication for um, breast cancer. I'm uh, coming up on a two year survivorship. Oh, congratulations. And um, so I take three blood, blood pressure medication. One is a diuretic. Um, I'm on a statin. Uh, okay. My cholesterol medication is a statin. So, so I think um, because- but I've been on these for years. The only thing, the only new medication is the breast cancer medication mm -hmm. that I'm on, that's new. Because usually um, that hair loss, so there's two things I, I believe could be happening. Um, and I'm not 100%, but, I'm, but once I start talking about this, it might resonate with you a little mm -hmm. bit. One thing is that you are washing your hair once a month. So usually daily we lose hair, you know, um, mm -hmm. even just touching our hair, we lose hair. And right. so you go to shampoo your hair, you're actually, um, cleansing out and, and detoxifying everything that's been sitting there. And that includes some of the hair that needs to fall out. Okay. Well, but the spots that I saw, to me, I started asking about medication because I know that medication has a lot to do with hair loss. Yeah. Yeah. has a lot to do with it. And it's one of those things where it's like, well, what do you do? you got to take the medicine, you know. You right. can't. So how do you combat it from the outside? you know when it's happening on the inside out and that right. is the challenge that's the challenge so i can recommend a few things but i can't say that i can't guarantee that they will work because they're going up against the medication, medication right. um yeah and do mm -hmm. you get enough rest or do you stay up kind of late no i try to go to bed by 10 o'clock Okay. Uh, every night so I try to get my seven to eight hours in That's every good. Night, that, you know. that is perfect that is perfect that is one of the major keys to your hair staying mm -hmm. healthy um, okay. is that rest so in terms of you uh, with the hair loss I'm gonna recommend that did you ever see the the wow shampoo and conditioner is this your first time on get cute while quarantine mm -hmm. Oh, I've only, I, this is my, I think my third week on. Yeah, okay. I first saw you on, on a salon sessions oh. on AARP. So after that, when you mentioned you were doing that, that's when I started coming on. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you hand me that wild shampoo and conditioner there? Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to show you the shampoo and conditioner. Okay. That should, it's right up top there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the gold top and the silver top. No, it's right in front of you. Yep. And then the other. Wow, mm -hmm, And the other one is that. So this is the conditioner. This should really help slow down that shedding. And this is the shampoo. And it has a DHC blocker, which okay. is really good for um, when your hair, when you're having hair loss issues. Okay. You see that? I don't know if you mm -hmm. can see that. I can see it. Yes. Um, and so I recommend to with the shampoo and conditioner, tackle it first. Okay. Because when the hair is wet, that's when it's in the scalp is wet. It's open to receive all the good stuff you need to put in there. Okay. So you can get in there with this. Mm -hmm. um, after that, then I would probably go with the or uh, organics on the, the spot. Okay. Okay. Put that on your spots and on your scalp. You might want to do it with this one throughout your whole scalp just a nice thin layer don't okay. get crazy with it but just nice yeah just put some in the palm and just go through like you would like greasing your hair yes and i'm hoping okay. that you will see results within the first month i'm hoping that and what okay. i mean is you're not going to grow all this hair it's not going to be rapunzel but the shedding <laughs> should decrease you know okay. mm -hmm. so if it doesn't please contact me right away because okay. this is what people have to remember about hairstylists we don't know everything Right. The kind of hairstyles I am, if mm -hmm. it doesn't work, I want to go back in with you and we're going to figure it out together. Okay. So I'm not just like, take this, do this, and I leave you and that's it. Right. Let's, let's try to see what it is that needs to happen next. Okay. Because what I use now is the Cantu Natural Hair Cleansing Cream Shampoo. And I, of course, I lather up twice. Yeah. And then I use uh, the... Uh, 
the leave-in conditioner, same brand. So we okay. use them. Yeah, that's then, that, that's more, but this but this situation that's happening is more of the we need to stop the shedding. Stop the shedding. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So can you tell me what my hair type is? Yes, actually. And I have my board here. Okay. So you are, to me, you look like a 4B. Can you see the 4B? I'm going to get a little Yes, bit. I can. Yeah, yeah that, is, that, more, that is more so like me. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like 4B. Okay. Um, and texture fours need moisture and hydration. Moisture. Can you feel that spider? <laughs> <laughs> if you move too fast, he's gonna move. He's right here. Just oh, you're so sweet. Okay. She gonna put the spider outside, and I'm trying to keep my eye on him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're so okay. nice. Don't start screaming and run around though. If you can't do it, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm back. Okay. Sorry. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're 4B, and mm-hmm. um, you work really well with the products you have because they're creams and butters. Okay. Go to the. There's a door. Can you help her open that? Side? <laughs> <laughs> um. And so what happens is, the hair in texture four, the porosity sometimes can be a little bit low, mm-hmm. and that's why you have to pay attention to the hydration. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. So I will let you know. I will get those products and start working on them. And then uh, I'll let you know, you know, you said anywhere from uh, three months to six months of use with the broken. Yeah. I'm hoping that you see something sooner. I'm sooner than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That you, the shedding stops. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, Also, um, I guess I know I need a haircut. Because um, my yeah. um, trim, because I have gray, my gray is right here in my temple, and I'm noticing in the back is just on the edges. I love my grays. Mm-hmm. I earned every one of them, so I'm not getting rid of them. Um, but other than that, well, the products that you mentioned will that help me to keep my grays from looking wiry? You know, no. sometimes they look dry. Your hair, the rest of your hair looks shiny and good, but your grays may look a little dry. No, I think the products you're using are work like the cream, the Cantu mm-hmm. is great mm-hmm. for what you're doing because it okay. really looks moisturized. So okay. these products are solely to help you with the shedding, the cleansing okay. of the scalp, the cleansing of the follicle, okay. um, the fertilizing of the follicle. Okay. Uh, but your other products are your styling products and you're good okay. with those. Yes. Yeah, so. okay. All right. So with the wild shampoo and conditioner, um, I'm going to replace that. That's what my replacement for what I'm using now. Just until, until, until this to, stops. Yeah. To the shedding stops. It's different. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. It's always good to have, uh, I would say two to three different shampoos and conditioners because our pH changes. And when that happens, our hair doesn't always accept what we're giving it. If it's the same thing over and over and over. So you okay. have to have another product Mm-hmm. to kind of like go in mm-hmm. and like you make your hair feel like okay this is something different and new and okay. it's a little more of what the last one didn't give it until your right. age changes again mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. all right okay i think that's all my questions thank okay. you felicia i appreciate it and have a beautiful day you do the same oh my my younger sister you and my younger sister have the same first name so felicia, i think the same yeah way. It's felt the same way. Yeah, so I think that's more or less why I gravitated to you after uh-huh. seeing you on here on salon sessions. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for your help. I really do appreciate yes, and it. And if you need anything else, let me know. Let me know how it goes. Okay. Okay. All right. Take care. Uh, let's see. You might have to hang up. What, what, okay, or, let uh, me stop. Hang, turn off your camera and then okay. I will Okay. Good. see if, if I can. Sometimes, sometimes, uh, I'm scared to press this button, but okay. <laughs> I know because sometimes, um, Zoom acts weird. Oh, here we go. I got okay. it. Okay, all right. 
Yeah, and mute I was myself. Like, nah. All right, I got it. Okay, y'all. So we have a little bit longer. Let me look and see what's going on. And I have my lovely model, Sandy, waiting on the side so that I can show you how to do some hairstyles with braids. Because, you know, when we wear our braids, a lot of times we just kind of put it in ponytail or pull it back. We don't play with it. And there's so many possibilities. I also want to thank all of you who have been booking private consultations because y'all are doing some amazing jobs. <laughs> like... I get on these privates with you with you all and I show you how to do a couple of styles and you guys rock it so quick. So congratulations to all the women who have been doing private consults with me lately and y'all have been turning out some great hairstyles. So proud of you. Uh, let's see. Fiona, how often should fours wash and condition their hair, especially for dry and shedding hair? Great question, Fiona. So Washing and conditioning your hair a lot of times has to do with your activity. If you work out often, you sweat a lot, things like this, you're having menopause or premenopause, you're sweating, then you're probably going to wash your hair at least every three to five days. Some people will do it every day, and that's fine if the hair is used to being washed every day. But I recommend, especially if you're texture fours, you need to wash your hair every five to seven days, which would be once a week. I would personally do a shampoo that cleanses and then the following week do a co-wash. And then I would go back to the cleansing shampoo and then a co-wash. So I would be on, off, on, off. And the reason why is the co-wash is really good with keeping texture fours moisturized. But if you do it all the time, you're gonna clog your pores and it makes it very difficult for the hair to grow out of the follicle. So on, off, on, off, as it relates to co-washing with texture fours. The other thing you could do, if you are just kind of like, I don't know about a co-wash, you can take your shampoo and some conditioner and mix a little bit of that conditioner in with your shampoo and then cleanse the hair because some shampoos will definitely strip out every single thing you need to keep it hydrated and it's meant to shampoo is meant to just take off all the dirt all the toxins everything but with texture fours if your hair is already dry and you do that ugh, it's scary so add a little conditioner in with the shampoo and then wash the hair that way so i hope that helps you fiona um and if you guys have hair that's shedding a lot do a protein treatment, you know, uh, our hair. Now there's a difference. There's hair that breaks in the middle of the strand and you see these little hairs everywhere, right? And then you have hair, when you look at it, it has a little white bulb at the end. That means it came straight out the follicle. That's not good and we need to figure out what's happening. That's either stress, that's uh, hormones, that's you're taking some kind of um, prescription that's not working with your system, that's diet, um, that could be traction alopecia. So pay attention to what the shedding really is uh, when you see these hairs in the sink and around the house, okay? Um, let's bring in another question and then I'm gonna get into this tutorial. <laughs> My little model's dancing on the side. I got some oldies playing in the background. All right, so Jackie. Jackie, let me bring you in. Hey, Jackie. Hi, afternoon, Felicia. How are you? Do you want to come Hi. on? No, no, not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Um, my question, I started, my last relaxer was in February mm -hmm. this year. And due to lockdown, I could not go to a hairdresser of course so I washed and conditioned and then I decided I would do go to a braider so I started braiding in May and this my second session my second set of braiding would have been in July I believe my question is when do I what would tell me when to start cutting off the relaxed ends 
Okay. Or do I try and grow towards five inches, mm. which will take me into February next year, and then cut off the relaxed? Or should I cut a little bit every month? Or each time I go to braid, I'm not sure what to do. Um, okay, so sounds like what you're saying is, um, it sounds like you're saying that you want to, wait, how long is the hair that's relaxed? Is it past your ears? It was before... Mm. Up to my last relax, my hair was up to my ears, the bottom of my ears. Okay. I had some length, just a little bit, yeah. Okay. So, well, there's a couple of things you can do. If you don't want to do a big chop, because you know you only no. have two alternatives. So there's big chop, which I'm not saying I'm an advocate of. Um, I'm more of an advocate of curly wet styles, like wet set styles, like the flexi rods. Um, mm -hmm. I love the Bantu knot curl outs. And what happens is that kind of resets the hair. It helps it to get used to the texture that it knows it is. Um, it helps to, I've like reverted people back by straight doing like Bantu knot curl outs, uh, wet sets, like the Bantu knot wet sets for like a year. You know, we would do it every month for like a year and their hair would revert back without us having to do a big chop. So the braids, you can only do so much because if you keep braiding your hair, you're going to create low porosity inside your own hair when you go to take the synthetic hair off. So you have to take a break. And in that break time, I would do the Bantu knot, uh, knot out, which is, the band, which is basically you wrap it, you make the little Bantu knots when the hair is mm -hmm. damp, and then you sit under dryer and then you take it out and rock it curly like that. And I think, so, mm -hmm. go ahead. Sorry, question. So when I do the Bantu, the relaxer will also curl and help me to maintain a style? Yes. The when I do the Bantu knot? Okay. Yes, the relaxed hair, won't, you won't even know that it's relaxed hair with the Bantu knots. Um, oh, okay. It all looks like the same texture, and that's one of the reasons why I really like that or the Flexi Rod. The flexi Felicia, rod. my question is, I, I'm not even sure how to start. I know I'm definitely a 4C and a low porosity 4C in terms of the trauma I had when I conditioned my hair to get ready for the breathing. It was traumatic because I'm the one, I'm the person I got knots. My hair started locking on its own um. with dryness, but um, I've gotten past that. But what products would I start with to do band to knots? Oh, I'm, I'm so free. I know I, I have to stop the breathing. I can't go each time breathing. I need to re let my hair get a rest okay. from that tension. But oh. I've been afraid to start. I've, okay. I've just been telling myself next in February. So one of the things I think would be good for you, we should book a private consult for you. Mm -hmm. So you and I can go through some hairstyles and I can see your hair. I would love to see your hair. Ooh, um, no. <laughs> well, in the private, in the private consult, I'll need to see you. It'll just be you and I. Okay. Um, All right. But the other thing is, okay, when it comes to the, the Bantu knot styling uh, or the flexi rods, you want to get yes. a good mousse. And some of the mousses dry the okay. hair off. So I'm going to tell you about a couple that are really good. Some of you already have them at your home. Um, the do has a mousse out that's d-o-u-x and anybody that's watching -O -U -X. Right now, if you don't mind just typing in some of these products i'm talking about um that you and if you know about them please just type it in so that other people can see um and it's the do d-o-u-x and she makes mm -hmm. a really good uh mousse um, for doing these okay. styles the other one is the cream of nature argan oil mousse that's another favorite of mine. Uh, the hair has shine to it. It doesn't look flaky. Mm -hmm. So that's another one. And then okay. there was, oh, Design Essentials. A lot of people love the Design Essentials um, mousse as well. It's like an almond marshmallow or something like this. Okay. Um, I have used the um, Design Essentials peppermint and aloe, peppermint oil and aloe. Once my hair has been finished, has finished braiding. I use it through the scalp. It oh, soothes nice. it and kind of detoxify. I, I love it. Oh yeah, that's great. And it seems to relax your scalp immediately after braiding. Mm -hmm. 
So well, when I say relax, I mean remove some of the tension and everything. So I will look into the design essentials news as yes. well. Yes. So those will be the good thing. And then my okay. special, like my favorite thing to do after taking out the Bantu knots or the flexi rods is I get, um, it's Ampro Curl Wax. Here, I will try to put, thank you all for uh, typing that in. Ampro oh, Curl okay. Wax is really where the magic happen okay um and it i'm gonna put it here it's a little jar of a red looking pomade and you take a little thin layer of it out and you go through as you're taking apart the curls the bantu knots yes. the bendy the flexi rods and you're separating the curls you put a nice thin layer of this on it's you don't need a lot because it's a little heavy but what it does is it coats the hair and it makes it water retentive, makes it have water, no, it makes it repel water. That's what I want to say. It makes it repel okay. water. So if you sweat a little bit while working out or you get caught in like a misty rain, it won't revert back all the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then and that is a consideration because I live in the Caribbean. I'm oh, Trinidadian. Yeah. Hello. So then, yes. hi. <laughs> yeah, so this will be really good for you. And then at night, you just put a bonnet on. You wake okay. up in the morning, you fluff out your curls. But when you and I do the private consult, I'm going to okay. show you videos on how to do it, how to achieve the look. So it'll be easier for you. And I, then I'll be able to send it to you. So you can make okay. it. Okay, Jackie. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I, I hope that helped. Yes, uh -huh. yes, because... I have been very timid. I, to be honest, I have, I'm already booked for another braiding session mm -hmm. because I've been like, most people tell you you need at least four inches of natural hair if you want to braid. So I've been looking at, I will only reach five inches by next year, February. So I had that as my target for when I actually had to start dealing with my natural hair on my own. Because yeah. hopefully then I'd have enough growth. But the braiding I know, this will i probably make this the last session and start dealing with my own hair okay that's perfect. now that i know i can mm -hmm. and that i don't have to chop off all the relaxed ends no you don't have to chop okay off. yeah and i'm going to show you a bunch of hairstyles that you can create you know okay. even on here like you know the get cute while quarantine that happens every Saturday. I switch it up, but I'm going to mm -hmm. go back in a more hairstyling techniques so that you all can see and get help at home. Okay. With your hair more. Excellent. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you after you okay. braids out. Yes. Ooh. This time I'll only stay a month. <laughs> month. Okay. Yeah. 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 Don't go past. And, and start. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't go past five or six weeks for sure. You know, but like I said, I can only do four weeks. So, yeah, I'm glad you're aware of it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, okay. So, y'all, we're coming up on 2 o'clock, and I see some more hands raised. I know there's more questions. Um, thank you all for, for the great questions and your wonderful feedback. But I'm going to bring Sanyu over now. Let me put my little mask on just because we want to show a good example of how to wear a mask, of course, right? So this is a mask I wear when I'm working, and I also have the other one, but you won't be able to see my mouth if I put on the other one. And I'm going to bring Sanyu in. She has her hair braided already. And I just want to show you, like, different ways to refresh your braids um, and, and just to give it some flavor, some fun flavor. That's what we want to do, right? Um, one of the things, if your braids start to get fuzzy really fast, and I know some of you have texture three hair, which is the softer curl and the braid, uh, sometimes the hair will come out of the braid and get frizzy. So what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of the lot of body setting lotion when the hair is really frizzy down the actual braid. So I'll take the lot of body setting lotion um, and I'll put it in a spray bottle really I mix it with a bit of water and I put it in a spray bottle and I will spray the braid and then smooth it down and then wrap it. Just kind of wrap it. You're not going to be able to get, of course, all if your hair is frizzy all the way down to the ends, which is rare. It's usually frizzy right around the top to the middle. And that's when I put the lot of body on and I spray it and I wrap it. 
and that tends to calm the hairs down you get a little bit longer with your actual braided style um, if it's frizzy already some people like to use gel if you use a gel my recommendation would be the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel and um, and you can go down the braid with that and then wrap it um, if you're going to use a gel but make sure you don't get the gel on your scalp uh, and stay away from the roots with the gel because you have the braids and you don't want it to just be sitting inside at the base because your hair could dry out and break. Uh, what's the other thing I wanted to tell you? If you feel like your braids are dry, if they look dry and you need a little shine, spray some shine on there, y'all. Spray some shine. Now, this is the LRC Bling Spray. And what I like about this particular spray is when I spray it, it's, not, um, it's more like a mist. So I can see that all of the hair after I've sprayed it, all the braids look moisturized and it lasts and it acts as a sunscreen on your hair. Um, my other recommendation, I just remembered, never get, I won't say never, you can do it, but just know if you trim your hair right before getting braids, you know what's gonna happen. It's going to be blunt and it's gonna poke out of the braid pretty fast. So if you get a trim and they really go in and cut everything and then you go get braids, just know that the, the likeliness of the ends poking out or sticking out is because you got the trim first. I often tell people, make sure you put a cream on the hair before getting the braids. Put a cream, pay attention to the ends, get them moisturized, then braid it, right? And then when you go to take your braids out and you're gonna take a break, Get your trim, because most of the time after you take out the braids, the way you guys take them out is a bit rough and you pull and you're gonna end up with snagged ends and split hair anyway. So why not wait until you're done with your braids, you're taking a break and then get your trim. Use cream on your hair to keep it soft and moisturized. Uh, oh, somebody's asking, what's the LRC product? It's called Bling and it's a spray. And this is Lawrence Ray Concepts. You can find him on Instagram and, uh, and also Google. Yes. All right. Sanyu, you ready, my model? All right, let's get started. So we bring Sanyu in here and show y'all her hairstyles. Hopefully she'll be tall enough for you to see her. If not, we will adjust. <laughs> can you see her? Let's move you up just a little okay. bit. All right. Um, you're on two different, you got Instagram and you got Zoom. All right. So, Sam, you, how long have you been wearing your braids now? I just got them done probably like a week ago. Okay. Have you, you have not been wrapping your hair every night. I wrap it, but mm. I've been sweating because my windows have been closed because okay. of this weather. Oh, okay, fine. I probably don't wrap it to your standards, <laughs> though. I mean... Fine, then. How, okay. sh how should I wrap them? Well, I mean, I think I, I just could tell that, like, you know, it's a bit frizzy. So this is like <laughs> the frizz we talked about, I see, you know, and just, um, I mean, you did your best. And it is hot here, and we're dealing with fires and everything else, y'all. So I get it. I understand. The other thing I would say, like with saying you, um, she probably needs a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little bit. Can y'all see that? So crazy. Elodia Soothe. I'm going to use this on her. All right. So I'm going to put a few drops of this. And I like it because it's got all the little herbs inside of it. <laughs> uh, for some reason, when I see that, it makes me think that it's healthier. So I'm just a few little drops, and it should feel good, actually. It does. It always feels better when someone else is doing your hair. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. And then we're going to tap it inside. Tap, tap, tap. And do you wash your hair when you have braids? No. No? Should I? I mean, a lot of times people don't do anything. You have to know your scalp. If your scalp is, um, you know, itchy if you have flakes a lot of times mm -hmm. then yeah you might want to if you're sweaty then yes but if you have a pretty clean diet and you have a sweaty scalp then you probably can get away with not washing it for a while 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is tilt your hand forward. Yeah. I'm going to start in the front. And this is one of the easier hairstyles. I like to always make a little part and bring the hair over. I always feel like it's softer when you do a style that has a part in it. And I'm going to take her hair, her braids, and I'm going to lightly just go one over the other. I'm going to turn this Someone asked you how often should you oil your hair when you have braids? I would say, because... I, I do every other week. I don't like it too oily, you know, because then when you sweat, it gets a little rancid and a little funky in terms of the smell. But I definitely... And just say, the amount you just put on, like I just did half a, a drop or yep, whatever. And just went in. Yeah, I don't like to saturate and have it super oily. Okay, so I'm going to grab this front part and I'm going to split it into threes. And I'm going to attempt a braid. Now, I know some of you don't know how to braid. That's fine. This is one of those times where you don't have to. So you're basically just going to take a, one piece of hair over the other. Okay? So you're going to start with the middle piece. And you're going to bring that over that front piece. And then the back piece, you're going to work that and move that towards the middle. So I'm going to go slow. So here... That goes to the middle, that middle goes to the front, the back then goes under and goes in the middle. And you just kind of move it around and play with it lightly. Just move it around. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you can even do a twist. If you feel like the braid is not your thing, you can just twist it. But you're gonna go all the way to the end. You guys see? Just all the way to the end. I hope y'all can see. Uh, I can bring that. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm going to the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little, little swoopy situation here. Okay. Somebody want to know more about the oil? The name of it. It's backwards. Elodia Soothe. Yes. Oh, I could just type it. All right. So I got a braid here, and I'm going to bring it around. You see? Just going to bring it around. Hey. What are you talking about? I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is my funny friend, Sandy, y'all. Crack me up. Their styles be taken for granted looking cute. You're like, uh, I wouldn't do that. So. I'm going to put a little tiny rubber band. At the end, I know one thing. These fires have given me the worst headache. The Yo, smoke seriously, like I don't even headache. get headaches. I've been having headaches. Yeah, it's terrible. It's not nice. Okay, turn to the side. So I'm bringing the braid around like this, and then over here, and then the end you're gonna tuck. You're gonna tuck it. Okay, so you're gonna bring it around. Sorry, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, you like I want to see too. And I'm treating you like my man. And I'm just going to push under. And one of the things that's very helpful is to have hair pins, all kinds. Small ones, big ones. Hair pins are your savior. These are the things that I love. So I'm going to take one of the bigger open hair pins and I'm going to basically pin this down just going to find a space to just kind of pin it. With, but avoid the scalp, of course, because the thing about having your braids in is you can hit that scalp like that. All right. So you guys see that? Still have this in. I got to figure it out, right? I got to tuck it somewhere. So I'm just going to bring it around and tuck it underneath just to hide it. Just hide it. And I'm going to take one more pin in here. Boom, like that. And this is just a simple little, I want to change it just a little bit. I want to change it just a tad. So see? Yay! Just change it just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, also, Sandy, you came over here with these really cute little, let me grab it real quick. So I realize the pearls, I think the black on my hair is coming off a little bit. Which is oh weird, right? wait! What do you mean? Don't you From, see that? Oh, I thought that was marble. That part of I the thing. It was, yeah, made it, like that. It's a part of it. It, okay. it came like that. So she's got these little uh, cuffs with pearls, and you can yeah. go ahead and put 
put that on and they're clamped. So they make it really easy to get on and really easy to get off. I'm gonna push this in here. Cute. Set it in there. So these are just, when you go to the beauty supply or you're on Amazon and you're ordering hair accessories, get these little cups. They come so many ways now. They have all kinds. They, they even have some with Africa on it, which I think is interesting because Korean people made it. So when you look at the Africa shape, it's kind of not completely <laughs> Africa. <laughs> it's funny, but it's okay. It works. So anyway, we put a few accessories in here. As you guys can see and brought it around and it was just something simple you have braids even if you don't have braids maybe you take your own hair and braid it and bring it around like this uh, maybe you take some afro kinky hair um, and then you you know you can get either latch hook latched and hook hair or rasta free afro kinky braid it into your hair if your hair is short braid it in not really tight kind of loose and bring it around swoop it around and pin it so this doesn't just apply to braid it, to braids, you can wear it with your regular natural hairstyles. All right, let's try another one. Just poke myself. I might be bleeding later. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, be careful with these little hair accessories. <laughs> they get yes. a little crazy. And have a friend help you if you have. Oh, the nails, yes. <laughs> okay. I also like playing with things like this. Yeah. Like little pearls, rope, stuff like this is so much fun to put into hair. So we're gonna play a little bit with this. Okay, these are cute too. Yes, those are really cute. You wanna see what that can do? Sure, why not? I never put things like that in my hair since I was a kid. Okay. I haven't had barrettes in my hair for a long time. So we're going to go back to the braid. She found something else she likes. So I'm going to show you guys. I can't wait. This other. I was like. <laughs> this other accessory. <laughs> and plus, you're so much fun because you like playing with your hair. Like, you like doing a bunch of funky things. We must. Pisces, yeah. you know. Variety is the spice of life. <laughs> Yeah, some people are like, I don't really <laughs> I have my get style. into it. I do have my go-to style, which is like two front hairs and a half ponytail up and the rest back. That's like the daily. Wait, two front hairs? Have like the oh, two, like mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. pearls on them. Yeah. And then I have a little ponytail and the rest is down. Okay. I also want to show how to get the edges right. We have, your edges <laughs> please, are, help, please tell me. So this is, I found this at the beauty supply. And you can actually get probably a whole pack of them for, I don't know, $10. But of course, they're going to sell it for $10 at the resupply. So. But basically with this, this is just one of those things that you kind of put on and you got to go for it's it. It's the kind of stuff you. like Rihanna gets away with. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You got to be like a February Pisces to be rocking this. Yeah, you got to be. I'm a March Pisces. So what you do is, I'm going to move it up a little bit. And you see I have her braid here. And so <laughs> what I would do is I would bring her braid back. Let's turn them so they can see. And then on this side, we're going to join. We're just going to take, uh, I'd say, these two right here. Oh, you already have them. I had twisted going. them. Okay, I had twisted them. Two <laughs> that works. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to join it with this. And I actually have something here to join it. I don't know if all you guys can see this. I hope you can. Um, thanks for hanging in, in there with me today. All right. And so it's just, you know, something funky. Just a little something, a little something, a little something. Um, and these are just fun. It's just about hair accessories at the end of the day. And this one's more, I, I feel like this has an age to it. This is like, <laughs> you know, teenage to like 35 kind of look. I'm 50. I wouldn't have these. <laughs> <laughs> I am not yet 35. I am under the line. You're under the line. I'm under the line. I'm limbo. 
<laughs> we close. Okay, let's do a let's do nice some pearls detail. or whatever. What do you do with these pearls? Pearls. Oh yeah, let's do the pearls and let's get this baby hair popping. My baby hair is popping. My baby hair is cool. Okay. So we're gonna bring this oh, up. This is like cat's cradle. And are those questions old? Or old? Oh, let me look. Uh, Rasta free hair or latch and hook. Someone's just repeating for you what you said. Oh, nice. Someone said so cute from a small change. Someone said I'm gonna try this on my daughter's locks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with this and. Actually, this works better when it's off. Oh, wait. But I'm not going to open it. I'm nervous. <laughs> so be like, I'm going to take this game. and I'm going to put this on her face like that. Okay. I'm going to bring it around and I'm just going to incorporate it. The funny thing is because you have white braids, you can't even, you won't even That's notice true. the curl as much. That's a thought. That's you won't true. even notice it. I'm on my civilian storm, you know off-duty superhero <laughs> okay so you just basically take the pearls yeah and you just wrap them around it's all about playing in your hair that's the thing i don't know that people spend enough time playing in their hair they just get frustrated and then <laughs> i mean you know <laughs> and, and and i get it or I you find that, what works and you just Play it safe. Yeah. Yes. There, yeah, for sure. That's what I do. I think too that we're sometimes afraid of our hair if we've never had to do it on our own. And I understand that. But I love playing See, with all kinds of I didn't of even things. think like I've been putting my hair in a ponytail, but I didn't even think you could braid that ponytail. Braid it, <laughs> put curls on it, and all kinds of stuff. And so you guys see. And then you can just wrap it. But I actually don't want to cover that up. So. Yeah, it's a dark one. Okay, hold up, let's see. Maybe I could bring it here. This is the thing about hair and braids. Like you just play with it. You just gotta play with it. The other thing I like to do, ew. I love doing stuff like this. Because if you bring the ponytail up and you braid it, then you can swoop it around. Yeah. Make like a little crown a situation. Little bang. A little bang. Yeah. Yeah. And play with it. Okay. And then another thing. I could do this all day. <laughs> but we can't. But I can. But we won't. Someone says greetings from Trench Town. Hey. Okay. Y'all see? see what we did here and you can actually take a whole nother row another other whole other whole other another whole other another another other row and bring this one up boom and do the same thing just make a whole uh, another braid i'm using your hair okay I'm going to have you look like a unicorn. Like my true self. <laughs> okay. And then braid that. It's like a quickie, quickie. Because I know everybody's waiting on these edges to come together. <laughs> so I'm, I'm the sorry, y'all. I'm sorry I don't do my <laughs> edges. all about the edges. Okay. So there's one. This is the second one. And then you could bring this one around as well. This is what I call the ESA treatment, y'all. <laughs> this is the ESA treatment. And then you can make another one. So you can keep going. You don't have to take all the hair in together. You can literally do, a, you can part it, you can do a lower section, lower ponytail, the middle ponytail, the upper ponytail, and merge it together. But there's so much that could be done just with playing with the hair. So play with the hair. Let's look at these edges. Okay, we got two different edge controls here. I'm going to test them out for you. Now, one of the edge controls is really just something I always use. Uh, it's called Hair Gummy. 
And I like hair gummy because it, you can reactivate it with water. So I do like the hair gummy. Let me back you guys up. What does this mean to reactivate? So let's say that you go and you get your edges all whipped up the night before. You wrap your hair up, you wake up tomorrow, and you're like, whoa, what happened to my edges? You don't have to, if you've used the hair gummy, it's not necessary for you to go and put a whole bunch of it back on. There's some, some still left, so you just take a little water and your brush, and you reactivate it. Okay. Yeah. It okay. goes longer. It goes longer. So I'm put a little bit here. And those of you out there using edge controls, I'm going to turn you a bit mm -hmm. so everybody can see. Those of you using edge controls, if your face is breaking out around the edges, please stop doing that. I had somebody write to me and tell me that their edges were breaking out and their face was breaking out. And I'm like, why? Look at the edges. Maybe because they're allergic to the, yeah, to the thing. Yeah, stop using it. Someone says, how do you curl braided hair? Oh, good question. Ooh, that's really good. So what you do is, you get your bendy, your flexi rods, um, and actually we did it with a paper bag once too. But you get your flexi rods and you basically roll, or rollers, they have those uh, hard rollers that they use for like curly rods, and you wrap the ends, boil hot water, right? Once you get the hot water boiled, you take it away from the stove, you carefully place the ends where you have it rolled in the hot water, carefully take it out, squeeze out that water so you don't burn yourself with a towel. Let it cool before removing the rollers. And then once you move the rollers, you'll have the curly ends. So it's all about the hot water, but it's really about not burning yourself. I was about to say, liability waiver, audio, mm -hmm. liability waiver. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing. Don't burn yourself. And, oh. and then the... The flexi rod survives the hot water? Yes, they don't melt. If the water is uh, hot enough to melt the rod, you don't need to be nowhere near that. <laughs> that's not, that's not what you want. Okay, so we use hair gummy here. I'm not good with swooping. Issa don't let me swoop her baby hair. <laughs> <laughs> See, she also you know wants it to be free. She don't let me swoop her baby hair. So I don't, I'm out of baby hair swoop in practice. I got a little swoop, but okay. I got a little something here. <laughs> you know better than me. I don't do no swoops. <laughs> Let me go on this side. So that, that side was a hair gummy. Now, those of you who have texture for hair, you often tell me you have a hard time finding an edge control that works. Well, I believe this is the one. This one has been working very well for me. This one's called Insta Control and I really like it, and you don't need a lot. This is the maximum hold, Insta Control. Sandy's gonna type that in for you. Here you go for the Instagram folks. Insta Control. This has been the one I found for texture force that really, really holds, and it's more like, it's thick. It's like a pomade. So um, it's actually thicker than that. It feels like a pomade and a wax together. Now, one of the things I look for in a good control, edge control, is that it holds, that it keeps even when you sweat or if you're out in the sun and it starts to melt. You know, I'm looking for one that can hold up to that. I'm also looking for one that won't break out my client or take their edges away. So that's really important. So you just put a little bit of this. The trick with this one is when you put it on, it's wet. You have to hurry up and sculpt it before it dries in place. So I'm gonna get in here and I hope you guys can see. The other thing I like about the Insta Control is it's not shiny on the edges. Um, and that's another edge control situation. I don't like when the edges are too shiny because then you look bald when you're in a light. Mm. Yeah, I've noticed that on some celebrity Red no, carpets. I tried my best to control it with Issa, but sometimes, you know, depending on the lighting, it gets weird. But I found that this one is a little better, especially with close-ups. Yes, few questions. Um, one person wants to know, does it feel hard when it's on? No, not at all. It doesn't to me. I mean, I can still do my 
eyebrows is that the test that the is one of them sometimes you be pulling <laughs> it up and you're like oh i could feel the gel um another person says where did you get your wrap oh the beauty supply for five dollars this is what i'm going to be in because i am trying to grow my hair out so i see that i see that i need to get one of those wraps you're right i don't have one of them um of them. and then someone says can you reverse the process back to straight when you do the uh curls on your braid Yes, you can. You can re-dip the hair that you curled and uh, pull it straight with the towel. As you're drying it, just flatten it and pull it out straight as, as it's um, coming out of the water. So that's how you... Now this is interesting because your hair is curling up a little bit. It likes the instant control, but it is making your, your little hairs curl up. Did you have anything on your edges beforehand? I know, man. Um... No. Okay. I mean, just the old sweat of my own brow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Canary. Thank you. Um, someone said, shoot, what's the name of the brown gel? It is called Instant Control. Insta. Yeah, Instant Control. Am I calling it Instant Control? You call it, I'm but kidding. it's you just abbreviating. So... Someone I'm in trying to tell Auntie. I'm just making up words. Insta Control. <laughs> um, but Someone in Zoom wants to know what made you grow your hair out. They love the Caesar cut on you. I've been wearing this cut for several years. At one time, I went and had braids. And then what I ended up doing was um, my scalp got kind of weird with the braids. I want my dreads back. I used to have dreadlocks years ago, and I kind of want them you, back. You want to dread it up again? I want to dread it up okay, again. Okay, 2020. So I'm try, but don't hold me to it, y'all. You might see me <laughs> back with the Caesar if I can... I can't hang because as your hair starts to grow out, it gets itchy. So, but you're gonna see me if I can get past that that stage. If I can get past three inches of growth, and it takes my hair a very long time to grow, then you will see me create a lot of hairstyle. I guess it doesn't take a. I mean, I guess I could do my edges. It just always seems like an extra thing, but it took like two seconds. It took two seconds. I mean, you got girls that make swirls. I know. Put your name in, write your in whole it. cursive. Yeah, I'm not her <laughs> Neither am I. this right here. <laughs> yeah so so basically like play with your hair play with accessories you can take rope curls all kind of jewelry get in there play with it um make sure you take care of your edges make sure that you get a retouch on your edges after two to three weeks so your hair doesn't pull out um try to wrap it I will. I'll do it. Night. Just a little bandana. Y'all gotta get, you know, just So you mean yeah. wrap when you say wrap it, you mean specifically have some like edge yeah, cover loving it. cover and then so another get all thing. Frizzy. I feel you. Like yeah, last longer that way. Um and yeah. Ooh, everyone like everyone wants their questions in the, the last the, the twelfth hour. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Someone says, this is a general question. Do you have a device to help with dry hair? Are those knotless braids? Uh, I think so, right? They Samia actually, did them. it's like a you combination. Tell me. <laughs> it looks a little bit like knotless, but it also looks like you have a few knots. So yes. I think no. you got a combination. To knot and to not knot. Mm -hmm. um, someone says, I'm going to do this style next time I go into the office. Do it, do it. Um, someone else says, I have a bald spot or a cowlick in the front of the right side. Any suggestions to help me? I've tried Barry Fletcher products to grow my spot. It did not work. Well, if it's a, okay, so there's two things. If it's a cowlick, that's how your hair grows. And sometimes it grows out and makes a swirl. So it looks like a bald spot. But if it's a bald spot, that's different. And if it is a bald spot, how long has it been there? I have a question. So if you want, you can send me a DM so we can talk a little bit more about it because I, I need to ask you a few things before just saying, do this, do that. Like, I want to know stuff before you go buy stuff. That's all. So hit me in the DMs about it. Um, anybody that, because we're going to get out of here, anyone that is um, tuning in for the first time, thank you so much. Uh, I'm usually here every Saturday at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and it's Get Cute While Quarantine with Felicia Leatherwood. She's so funny. Um, and 
I think before, I, see, I'm gonna leave in about seven minutes. So before that, I think I should take a couple more questions here in, on Zoom. Um, anybody tuning in that's on Instagram and you wanna be a part of our virtual salon space that we hold on Zoom every Saturday, just go to askfelicia.com. You can usually register there Friday nights for the Saturday session, askfelicia.com. And you can go to Felicia Levywood for anything you need. And if you need to buy a detangler brush, just go to felicialeatherwood.com. Brush with the best is on IG. You can order your brush. Dang you, this little pearl thing is cute. It's cute, right? Maybe you should leave this one in. I've been living with all these pearls. I'm the fresh face pearl of the West Side. That's oh, what I'm oh, calling fresh myself. Fresh face pearl. You can only see half side. my face, but just trust. There's no beat on this. I'm not laying my edges. I'm also too lazy to beat my face. <laughs> um, we have some questions. Oh, look, right. I just created something else cute. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. We got you all up on the table. Can you keep? Wait, you're going too far. Oh, my, my. <laughs> all right. But, yeah, just play with your hair, y'all. Play with your hair. Uh-oh. And get some hair pins. That's, a, that's something I do want to talk about. Sometimes when we do hair consultations, y'all don't have no hair pins. Every woman needs hair pins. I don't have hair, but I got hair pins. Get some hair pins. You need some hair pins. Um, just so you can play with these styles. You need clips so that you can section your hair off to play. So get on that. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. People who have issues. Are you coughing? I was just clearing my throat. Okay, okay, fine. Excuse me. <laughs> People who have issues with um, edges being too fine or thin, or you feel like there's ball spots on the edges and you want to go out, you have an event, I recommend this. Now, this is the quick cover. It's a root touch up. A lot of you have seen this. It looks like lipstick. But it's actually for your edges. I've spoken about this before a little bit. And what I do is if I find a little area, that's kind of thin, I will go in and I'll just take a little bit of this and I'll fill it in. And it really does add a little something. You see that? So if you feel like you have a little bit of a ball spot or a thin spot and you want to fill in, just go with your little, I put some right here, little touch up. Look at that. Fills it right in. All right. So this is by Kiss, and it is the quick cover, quick cover up, touch up. Okay. I can see it. Let me see that. I'll write it then. Yeah, I think you got to write it down. Um, what's my opinion about knotless braids or TWA? That's a great question. I think knotless braids are great now. When you say, say TWAs, it really depends on how long your hair is. If your hair is only an inch or two, chances are the knotless braids could slip out. If your texture is soft or fine, the knotless braids might slip out if your hair is short. So just be aware that if you're getting braids and you have short hair, they could slip out. Don't be mad at the braider. She actually should tell you that if she doesn't think your hair is going to last, so you won't expect it. The worst thing that could happen is for you to be walking down the street and one of your braids fall out, or you're on a date and one of your braids falls in your meal or whatever, and it's happened. I have women tell me that this is the thing, so you be careful with that, all right? Question yeah, from your audience. I'm 52. Will it be harder to grow locks? No, I don't think so at all. And, um, and we can do it together because I'm 51. Let's grow our locks. <laughs> this is why I got this little cap with my little uh, turban on because I am trying to grow my hair up for locks. So no, you're not too old. You're perfect at the perfect time. Most people didn't really want to start their locks until they were in their 40s and 50s anyway. So, all right. I'm about to boot sand you up okay. and get to a couple of questions before we get out of here. Bye, thank you, everyone. You. Thank, thank you. That was harmless right it was harmless <laughs> even helpful even helpful okay and then also with the edges once you set your edges i really like to get this rapid 
these and these are the black wraps they have them at the beauty supply i really like using this and i'll wrap the edges after i've set them you can sleep with this you can go about your day with this in the house cleaning up with this um, and it really just kind of blends in with your hair it looks like a headband and this will keep your edges down so i really like using that okay a couple of questions and then we're out of here um i got my mask okay ma'am miami miami are you still there i may be saying your name wrong i hope not are you there ma'am miami dancel did you leave hmm okay well we will try are you there no we'll try to come back okay and then jc farley where are you jc let's try jc are you still there i think you're on mute hi oh, there you are hi hey it's jam how are you hi hi hey. a lovely photo of you it's so good <laughs> Um, I don't know. How, the, the photo's fine. This is a quick question. Um, first of all, how are you doing? This is a great session. Well, thank you. Um, I want to know if you have crochet hair, is it, um, is it a good idea or would you recommend doing a steam treatment if you have a steam hood? And if so, how often? Okay, so crochet hair, you want to know if you can do a steam treatment with the crochet in? Yeah, like just to, just to, if you're going to, like, I usually keep it in for four to six weeks, so the longer end, but I just want to see about trying to keep moisture in the hair because it's definitely dry when I take it down. The only thing with that crochet hair is it's synthetic, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't know because I don't know if the heat will melt the hair or compromise it or change it. And... I don't know what kind of chemicals are on the crochet hair and with the steam, I don't know what's actually going inside your pores because your pore is open when you're mm -hmm. steaming hair. So I don't know about that. I think that the moisture should really be on your hair before they put the crochet on. And that's why I talked about braiding your hair, like when you're doing a protective style, using a cream to braid it. it up so that the hair is already moisturized and all you have to do is put a little oil on your scalp from time to time. Okay, that's mm -hmm. great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I miss you and I, I hope miss you too. You, like really soon one day. We'll make a plan. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks take for care. tuning in. Bye. Thanks, bye-bye. Okay, I'm gonna take one more question and then we're out of here, y'all. Um, cause you guys be hanging. I love it. Y'all hang. Okay. One more question. Akil. Are you there, Akil Butler? I think we did a consultation, but I could be wrong. You're muted now, Akil. Okay. I'm going to move on. I'm just trying to wait. <laughs> Uh, yeah okay so i don't know where kill went but what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going um and then there's another there's a kila a kila more oh because more is using an older version is okay ah oh, i can't even bring you in i wanted to it says i can't can i allow you to talk yeah can you hear me no I don't know what's happening. All right, y'all. Well, gonna be leaving in a minute. And I did try to bring in, oh, wait, Alicia. Alicia, you there? Alicia, where'd everybody go? I see you here, but maybe Zoom's not letting you come in. <laughs> I do see you here though, but all right. So what we're gonna do then is, cause I don't know, we're gonna get going. We're gonna come back next Saturday to more of Get Cute While Quarantine with Felicia Leatherwood. And I appreciate y'all being here. I hope you can hear me through, through this. I felt like I was talking at myself through the mask, but that's okay. We're just over here trying to stay safe. So come see me. 
Get cute while quarantined with Felicia Leatherwood every Saturday at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I'm glad you guys like the sessions. And if you need a private consult, you can book it at FeliciaLeatherwood.com. You will see it there. Um, anything else you need? I'm around. I am. Ask Felicia Moore at gmail.com. I'm on Instagram, loving your hair. I'm on Facebook. I'm not really on Facebook, but I'm definitely on Instagram. So whatever you need, come see me via Zoom, virtual. This is a virtual salon. And I will see you all next Saturday. Bye.